Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Eternal Flames. My name's Blaze and it's been a little while since we've done a tutorial. Um, for the first time in forever a new part has come out and honestly these guys are just awesome. Now if you go into your attack tree you'll notice they're easily unlocked very early on especially now that there's the new leveling system and the mech legs are just phenomenal. You're talking about super super high defense really decent mass um, they can jump they got decent speed they're gonna be really easy to get a hold of and we're gonna go over a couple of quick tips and tricks to maybe help you out now if you notice right here you can actually kind of if you do this correctly place the legs inside so let's go ahead and do that real quick let's get rid of this and we're gonna just take these out real quick and now Boom! Neat, right? So now you've got that little bit of extra defense to kind of go in, but we didn't do it on both sides proper, so there we go. And now we've got some really high defense maneuver. Now, what makes these so good and why do you want to use them? Let's get right into that. We're going to go into the brand new testing zone. We'll let this load up. Ah, uh, this is actually uh, my first time really getting a chance to dig into this, but take a look. The mech legs, unlike a lot of our stuff, have superior control. The controls aren't super flimsy, they're very accurate, you can move around very easily without too much trouble at all. Now granted, they are not really fast. If you're looking for speed, you're still going to want to look to other things, except for maybe treads. So just for sheer maneuverability on the ground, these are great. You can duck with them, pressing shift as your default key, or maybe you rebound that. You can jump, similar to the spider legs, which allows you to maneuver terrain a little bit better than, say, wheels or even hovers to some degree. Now, if you notice, they keep a decent self-riding. You can adjust this easily with helium or with weight blocks. And they come with their own little bit of shielding. Now, they're not going to be the fastest thing out there, so trying to run with them or anything like that you are going to find yourself at a disadvantage speed wise. Other than speed however, these things have magnificent control just to work with. Like Even turning in the air, you can land and immediately take right over. Now, let's get into some of the pros and cons of this that are going to be really really necessary. You are going to be limited by your legs. Whether you do a biped such as what I've done here, or whether you do a quadruped which allows you to have four legs or maybe you want to go with six tuplets or etc etc I'm not even sure what you would call those but those would also probably give you something to work with but you're gonna still run about the same speed the carry weight is gonna be nice it's gonna be really hard to slow these down but it is doable so be careful about your weight to some extent they are, however, stronger once again than the spider legs. So, yeah, I mean, less trouble there. The other issue is, is once they're blown out, they're blown out. No different than the spider legs, you're gonna find yourself looking at a big target on those legs. People are gonna aim for them a lot quicker than they're gonna aim for treads or even hovers because they're a big target. Be careful, be ready to defend yourself, and be ready to use cover. Now, Ducking is definitely going to help you to some degree with that because if you notice, it gives you a little bit more cover and, you know, that awkward stealth animation which is just weird. Okay, what are a lot of the pros though? Lots of defense. Compared to the spider legs, once again, because they're the only comparison we really have, these things are going to be a lot bulkier, a lot tankier. No different than tank treads are to wheels. So you're basically trading out a little bit of the extra mobility for a bit more defense. Now another downside, you can go up slopes, it's doable, but you're not going to be able to do what the spider legs do and basically crawl upside down and stuff like that. You will have those limitations. So be ready for that. However, let's face it, the self riding of these things is just phenomenal. Look at that. It, it, it dang near bunny hops for you. Now, now that we've gone over the pros and cons, what do I think about it? I think these are cool. 
I think these are a step closer to what we all really, really want, which is to be able to build those amazing robots like we saw in old games past. Um, like Armor Core or the old Mech Warrior. I mean, there, there's a lot you can work with here. Maybe make some quote unquote jump jets. Yeah, you heard me. Jump jets. Put some jets on the side of this thing, make it jump a little bit higher, similar to what you do with spiders. Um, play with, you know, what we got here with just plasma cannons. Make a weapon that is basically going to decimate your enemy while moving around at decent speeds. Have fun with this. There's a lot to play with, and honestly, I'm really enjoying these. Like, these are a lot of fun. I cannot wait to take these into combat myself and really just dig in. Not only that, but I feel like with a couple of, you know, quick boosts to, you know, propulsion, these could easily become my new favorite uh, toy to work with because I personally prefer the Spiralings. That, that's me. Now, um, anything else I want to add to this? Um, yeah. We, we mentioned a couple of series, but maybe someone out there wants to make Ed 209. For those of you who are Robocop fans, that would be awesome. Maybe some of you guys are Armored Core fans. Go out there and make your Armored Core. Make something that's really badass. There's a lot of opportunity here. I mean, a lot of opportunity. And for those of you who are big anime fans, go make a Zoid. Yeah, you heard me. Go make Liger Zero. You know exactly what I'm talking about if you watch that series. Have fun. This is a great opportunity, and I am so glad that we waited for this part because there hasn't been a part in forever. There really hasn't. But this... Look at that. This just makes up for me. On that note, you guys take care, stay safe and well. I hope this actually helped you. I hope you guys got a better idea of how this works and maybe a couple of the pros and cons. If you want to see more like this, like and favorite is always a good thing. Leave a comment. On the contrary, if you didn't like this, hit the dislike button. Believe it or not, that's the thing. We're okay with it, but let us know why. We want to learn and we want to get better at what we do and we can only do that if you tell us what we did wrong. On that note, take care, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you guys all next time. Oh, and just remember, I'm not just any snake, I'm a solid snake. <laughs> uh, technically snakes don't have legs. Eh, yeah, whatever, I'm gonna go dick around. Woohoo! I can sneak! I can sneak! Sneaky, sneaky! Oh, cloaking device would be awesome with this now. Oh, that would be so... Oh, that cloaked flyers.